Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to show uh, something that I should have shown ages ago on this channel to be perfectly honest. Um, as many of you know, I am left-handed. And sometimes that raises a few uh, questions from uh, people who A, either aren't familiar with left-handed writers or how they use fountain pens because apparently uh, it's some kind of witchcraft. So what I thought I'd do today is I'd show a product that is designed for left-handed writers. As you can see, I have two Lamy Safaris here, the two uh, 2021 uh, special editions. Looking back on the originals, I've done another video on these, so this isn't about that, it's just about the nibs. I got both of these with medium nibs, that is my nib of choice, and uh, but I've swapped it out on the Savannah here to a specific kind of nib that Lamy makes. And that nib is the left-handed nib. You can probably see there on the face of the nib, the uh, LH for left-handed. So what does that mean and how does it make any difference? Well, firstly, it aligns to a medium nib. In terms of width, that is basically what it is designed to be. But there are a couple of very slight differences. I'm going to draw those here just so that you can actually see it. And then I'll do a writing sample and show how I have found the nib uh, to perform. So, very crude drawings, and I apologize for that. If you are looking at a nib like that, with a standard medium, actually, we'll do both, and then looking down on the nib, do a little breather hole there. Okay, a standard medium nib, is rounded through there, and it's rounded like mainly on that sort of surface. So what that means is a right-handed writer uh, actually draws the pen across the page. So if I do a little right-handed sample just here, you can see I draw the nib across the page. It goes that way. Whereas a left-handed writer still goes in that direction, of course, we are pushing the nib across the page. So what Lamy have done with this particular nib is they have done two different things. The first thing they have done, back to my, I can do better than that, <laughs> back to my drawings of a nib, two things they have done. Firstly, is they have polished a bit more of this edge here so that as we push across the page, we're catching more of the front of the nib. The second thing they've done is they've made it ever so slightly um, oblique. So left-handed writers will ever so slightly turn the pen. That's very, very common, particularly if we work as a uh, side writer or under writer, particularly as a side writer. You can see if I go to put the nib down on the page there, it's not flat, it's actually slightly turned in. Um, and because we are pushing that means that we end up getting a lot more of sort of this time making contact on the paper. So what they have done is they've actually made it ever so slightly oblique. Now, you can't see that when you look at the nib. It's not particularly obvious that there is anything different to the standard uh, medium in terms of shape. It's very minuscule. But those two slight changes just mean that as we push the pen across the page, we are getting a bit more smoothed, polished surface uh, and a bit more even contact between left and right time, allowing the capillary action to give a much more effective contact on the paper. So that is the basics of the science, science, if you will, behind what Lamy have done with this left-handed nib. Now let's see it in action. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a uh, left-handed and right-handed writing sample with both the, the left-handed nib and the standard medium here. So let's go with the uh, left-handed nib first. So it's fairly smooth. Like this is side writing, of course, or underwriting uh, at that sort of typical 45 degree angle to the page. Now, it's smooth, but Lamy nibs are smooth. Um, in fact, 
here is the, just do the, uh, the medium now. drying out a little bit um, but it is still smooth so in that action we're not getting a huge amount of difference because the changes these little alterations they have made are minimal so if we do a right-handed writing sample now with each let's see now excuse my right-handed writing It's also hard writing around uh, like a camera tripod and all of that sort of stuff. So that was the left-handed nib with uh, the uh, right hand. Uh, and then we'll go the right hand with the uh, standard medium. Okay, so... To my hand, I actually can't feel a huge difference either left or right handed with either of these nibs. The differences are minimal. But in my opinion, that's not where this nib comes into its own. This little bit of polish on the front of the nib here, that extra bit of polish as opposed to the standard right handed medium or standard medium, makes it a big difference in one way of writing. Um, and that is if you are an overhand writer. Now, I'm not an overhand writer. I was never an overhand writer, even as a, um, a, you know, as a kid, I always wrote fairly much in mirror. I'm ambidextrous, I'm somewhat ambidextrous apart from handwriting. Uh, and when I was younger, I did actually swap and change a little bit uh, more than I, you know, do now. So the for those of you who aren't familiar, the three sort of standard ways of writing for a left-handed are uh, like, side writing where we write like that like across underwriting where we write from underneath the line and then overhand writing where we write from above the line and therefore if you can imagine you're really pushing that nib even more like you've got it this way we've got like the left to right axis here you've got the the, the up axis much more pronounced as well and so Let's just do a quick left-handed overhand uh, writing sample here, and we'll do that with both nibs. Because for me, this is where I feel the difference. Now that's awkward for me to write, so the writing is obviously very messy but if we do that now with the medium nib but what i should say about that though is that it is smooth like i could write like that quite comfortably and you can still see it's putting decent amount of ink down on the page some pens when you are writing on that downward angle it feels quite uncomfortable scratchy and sometimes sharp on the page but not with that nib now if we do the uh we'll do the right or the, we'll just call it the medium nib uh, overhand okay now obviously my hand gets in the way so you can't see a lot of that but you could probably hear it's a little sharper. You could hear it scratching a bit more than the left-handed nib. And you can actually see these points where like, it didn't quite write as well. It's not writing as smooth. This nib is not designed for that. If we go back to these little diagrams I did earlier, this part of the nib, you know, at the top here, is what's copying a lot of the abuse in overhand writing. Uh, and that's got an extra bit of polish on it. Also, that slight different cut just allows for, slow, as I said, more even purchase on the page uh, for the capillary action to actually write. 
um, but the polish being slightly different as well just gives just that little bit of extra smoothness if you are an overhand rider. So do I think this nib is um, needed? N no, it's not needed. Um, I think overhand writing with fountain pens in general makes things tricky. So if you are a left-handed writer who writes overhand, um, if you can make that work with fountain pens, amazing, all the more power to you. Uh, but if you train to be a side writer or an underwriter, you are going to have a more pleasant experience with a, a wider range of pens. Also, you're less likely to smudge ink and all of those sorts of things, particularly if you're an underwriter, uh, which I sort of tend to be more regularly an underwriter. Um, so if you have a... But is this left-handed nib that sort of like um, needed? Well... I think if you're an overhand rider, you are going to get a bit more pleasant experience out of it. Otherwise, I don't think it makes a huge difference. Uh, and it's not a standard nib that comes on pencil. It's something you have to source separately and all of that. So I have one because I'm left-handed. I was interested. When I first got started in fountain pens and I realized that it was such a thing, I got one straight away. And I enjoy using it when I have. As I said, it's a fine, perfectly fine nib in terms of, you know, smoothness and flow and all of those sorts of things very consistent with Lamy's lineup. So if you're a left-handed writer, if you're an overwriter, maybe think about getting one of these if you write with a Safari uh, or an All-Star or any of those Lamy pens that use uh, these nibs. Uh, but I think, yeah, as I said, I think the biggest difference is if you're an overhand writer. If you're a side writer or an underwriter, uh, I think you're pretty much okay to get a pretty decent writing experience from a Lamy in general. So, I hope you found that video interesting and useful. If you're a left-handed writer, um, I hope you found it very uh, useful. If you're a right-handed writer, I hope you found it interesting. Um, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, please, uh, you know, get in touch if you've got questions or comments or let me know your experience with these left-handed nibs. Uh, and if you've got products you think I should be looking at, let me know. If there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would really love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.